Hi, it's the nursing professor here. Today I want to talk to you about chronic venous insufficiency. And I want you to realize that this is just one example of a group of uh, circulatory problems that fall underneath the category of peripheral vascular disease. All right, so let's just take a look at chronic venous um, insufficiency and let's use a nursing process. Remember ADPI? All right, so we want to assess a person's skin. We want to make sure the skin is intact. We want to feel for warmth, make sure the skin is not too cool. We want to take a look at it to make sure that there's no areas of skin breakdown or potential skin breakdown, you know, when the skin gets real thin, because frequently we see quite a bit of edema there, and edema is swelling in the lower extremities, especially when someone has their legs actually hanging down um, as opposed to elevated. And then we go to coming up with a nursing diagnosis, which could be um, alteration in skin integrity if there's some skin breakdown. It's definitely impaired circulation because the valves of the veins are not working well enough to return all of that fluid back to the heart in the way that it's supposed to. Then we move on to coming up with our plan. And our plan is to make sure that our uh, patient is comfortable. So we wanna address pain if pain is a problem. We wanna address the swelling. So we wanna make sure that we're elevating the foot uh, or the lower extremity such that it can help with that venous return. We uh, wanna make sure that we are looking for alteration in skin integrity. So we're examining the foot really, really well because sometimes the skin breakdown happens very, very small. And if you catch it very small, it's very, it's much easier to actually um, heal versus if it ends up being a big wound. Um, our plan also includes education, which includes um, lifestyle choices. We want to make sure our person is making the best lifestyle ch choices possible, like walking, exercise, not smoking if they smoke. If they're obese, we want them to lose weight. Um, those types of things, and, and, and of course, take their meds as ordered. Typically, medications are blood thinners because you only can imagine that if blood is not being returned, then there's a possibility that a clot can actually form. So we want them to take their uh, blood thinners as prescribed. And so that takes us to interventions, and these are things that we're going to make sure they're doing. And so that's putting into um, motion all of those things we just talked about helping them take their medications, helping them understand signs and symptoms that they might see as a result of taking the medications, helping them understand how to look at their foot and their leg to make sure that there's no compromised uh, skin going on, uh, as well as making sure they clean the foot good and not put any lotion in between the toes because that can also cause a problem, which is called maceration, where the skin is too moist because our toes actually fit like this, especially as we're putting in socks and putting on our shoes, which reminds me an intervention is to make sure that they have proper um, socks and shoes, and that might include um, a compression hose like this here. Uh, these compression holes can be very helpful in helping that blood return to the heart adequately. All right here, so I have this uh, mannequin here and if you can see at the top of her toe here well this probably started off as being just like a sore toe and we've all had them we've gone and got a pedicure and something and not paid any attention to it well this ends up being worse because the blood flow is not going here which means this tissue is going to die and so typically when we see black tissue like this we call it eschar and this tissue is not viable. And so what typically happens is we treat this wound with um, prescribed medication and hopefully that this wound will heal, but sometimes it doesn't. And so we need to impress upon our patients the importance of paying attention to their toes because this is what can possibly lead to amputations. And so we do not want that to happen. The other thing I want you to take a look at in this particular patient is this. Hold on a moment. Now, we also need to pay attention to skin color because in this particular patient, she's darker skin, right? And so it's a little more challenging to see like varicose veins in a person with darker skin. Um, we also uh, wanna make sure that um, this person understands that the importance of exercise because these legs get really, really heavy when they are this size. And so exercising could be the last thing a person wants to do. 
So again, we will use things like the compression hose. We want to elevate this foot to help with the um, impaired circulation. And so when we elevate a foot, we want to make sure the heel is not directly on um, that particular um, surface that we're using to elevate because if it is then this heel can actually break down. I hope that helps and I hope when you're watching the TV and you're hearing all this stuff about um, news revealing um, private health information about a patient that you first of all think about HIPAA. Um, you know we can discuss that that's a whole debate but I really did want you to make sure that um, you understood what chronic venous insufficiency is and not get mixed up about all the experts on TV so I'll see you next video bye for now